Welcome to the 2021 Boat Show video. We're super excited to take you guys with us. We love Boat Show videos. Lots of new things to see, lots of cool things to see. We even are gonna show you guys a mansion boat, like a mansion yacht. This thing is so cool, so you're gonna have to stay tuned for that. But first, we're gonna start somewhere a little bit closer to home and relatable. You guys may have seen our episode with George Gods filming Unfathomed on the Sportsman Channel on this boat right here. So let's take a look at it. We figured we'd start this video with something familiar and something that we've known. We're gonna start on the 28 Camus. It's kind of like a bay boat, but we actually took it offshore, so you kind of get the best of both worlds. Starting at the front, if you look up here, we have the anchor locker. Pretty standard, any boat should really have an anchor locker up in the front. Perfect place to come throw your anchor. But something unique about this boat, because it's more of a bay boat and not an offshore boat, let's look at what we're sitting on, Amanda. Yes, here you can see, let me back up for you. You can see, you have a nice little casting platform that you can stand on. If you're offshore, you might want to jump on here and cast the mahi, or maybe you're in the back country and you're casting or fly fishing. Maybe you're looking for tarpon or permit. Under this seat cushion here is the fish box. And if you guys remember correctly or not, when we filmed our episode with George Gods on Unfathomed, that is where we kept our, our tile fish. fish. And our Hermes, we caught some vermilion snappers. Yes. So we'll have to link that video for you guys so you can go watch us fishing with George Gods. Emily, how does it feel to sit down? You guys don't know this, but we've been out here all day. This video is just starting, but it's been a long day for us. So this is very comfortable. The seating is comfortable, if you guys are curious. Comfortable seating, great chance to go to the sandbar. We have some more seating here. here. Cooler underneath oh, here. Really great place to keep you can water keep your bottles. waters. Oh, I could go for a cold water cold right now. Sandbar. Oh my gosh. Oh. Let's move on to the helm, Amanda. The helm. Oh, so, the rod, holders. rod holders. Where am I pointing them out? Right. Oh, I almost missed them. Here they are. So we have plenty of rod holders. Obviously this boat is built with fishing in mind. Rod holder, cup holder, cup holder, huge casting platform. And something really fun about this boat is I love this little teak look right here. It's actually going to keep everything sticking and not from flying at your face if you hit a rough sea or a wave. Is that correct, yes, Emily? Correct. Our boat doesn't even have somewhere to put stuff, but a lot of boats do. And it is nice that they thought to put some, some sea deck here basically is what it is. Some nice decking it'll definitely stop things from sliding around. And catching you in the face, yes. giving you a black eye. We have one seat up and one seat down, so you guys can see the difference. We got some armrests. So if you want to sit low, you can sit low for short people. You can kind of put your feet here and be you sit higher. up, or if you can put them both down low and you kind of have a little bench yeah. seat. What's nice about these is when you put them both together, it kind of creates like a little bench, like Amanda said, so three people. You could fit three Emily and Amanda yeah, sized people in that seat. Maybe you have your, your daughter or your son that you want to sit in the middle. You totally can fit three people here. Let's move to the back. We have some more comfortable seating. It's always nice to have seating in the back of the boat. And I see and, some, oh, some storage. We have some storage, storage back here along with right here. Let's see what we have. I want to say well. live well. Yes, it is. There is one live well. And Emily, I'm just going to totally assume that is another live well. Oh, yes. Here we go live well right here cup holder and behind our seat we have a little cooler some more rod holders right there let's see this is going to be a tackle station of course you can put your little tackle boxes in there so this is a really great little 28 foot boat but it seems like a boat that can do a lot i said it was little but 28 is not that little 28 is definitely not that little a little fun feature about this boat, this one in particular doesn't have it, but you can actually add a tower. Now it's not a full tower where you jump all the way up on top of the T-top, but you would be standing here and your waist would be up here and you would have steering right on top of there. So that is a little cool thing you can put on this boat. The one that we were on did have that. On to the beautiful mansion yacht. Ready? Go. So 
something a little bit unique that you guys are not used to seeing us on. We're not on a center console, we're not on a pontoon, we're not on a deck boat, a wakeboarding boat, none of that. We're not even on a mega yacht, but it is a yacht at the same time. We are on a mansion yacht. So literally, it's like a mansion on the water. It is like kind of like a houseboat, but it's a yacht, but it's a mansion yacht. We're currently standing on the top deck. Amanda, why don't you pan to the top deck? Yes, yeah, so here, here is the top deck of our mansion yacht. I don't even, I mean, this is absolutely insane. So it's 9,000 square feet total. 11 foot ceilings. 11 foot ceilings, well, downstairs. It has five master size bedrooms, yep. five full bathrooms, and king size beds. But let's just look. So this is the mansion yacht. So something, this yacht is primarily used for chartering, hosting events. So, Some people that have chartered this boat include Michael Jordan chartered this boat. I believe Muhammad Ali's son chartered this boat. Lots of famous people have used this boat for events and parties, birthday parties, events that they wanted to hold, things like that. Something unique about this boat is it has four pilings. One, two, and there's one in each corner. Three, right there behind Emily and four, and these four pilings, what they do is they actually have the ability to take the boat, lift it up out of the water, so it's actually sitting on the sand or the bottom, making it nice and smooth, and you can't get seasick. Correct. Now, let's go check out this helm station. Something really crazy and unique about it is there's no wheel. Come on. What? I didn't even know that. We're gonna follow Emily from the top deck on our way to the helm station. Okay. You can see, it's all joysticks. So that's really cool, really crazy, but at the same time, I feel like that's kind of sketchy. What if your bow thruster goes or something? Here we have our helm station. So just something super unique and different. Clearly not something you've seen before. This boat is just unique all around. Okay, Amanda, let's get downstairs and show you guys those bedrooms. Here we go. Down the stairs to the first floor, all the way down. And we are going to head inside. The door is shutting on me. There you go. Can you push that button, please? Thank you very much. We are now inside and we have full storage cabinets. These are full size cabinets for towels or anything you want. None of this tiny boat size stuff. Let's go into one of the bedrooms. Here we have one of the guest suites. Every room has a king size bed floor to ceiling marble in the bathrooms and 11 foot ceilings. Not to mention a walk-in shower. Walk-in shower, ooh. Wow. Oh, in the corner. You don't even feel like you're on a boat. You, oh, definitely not. On our way to the junior suite, but first we have more full-size cabinets. I mean, full, full, full-size cabinets. Emily, take us into the junior suite. Junior suite. Or is this the junior master? Well, the Same difference, right? It's essentially the second Largest bedroom. bedroom. So first you walk to the bathroom and you have another full size shower. Walk in oh, shower. What is the shower head like? Ooh, nice. Wow. Kind of like a rain shower. We got a rain shower and one and of these little, little handle hand showers. Towel. And here's our bathroom. And all the way into the bedroom. Here we are. Full king size bed. We got a little porthole, a little window. A little square porthole. Nice modern. Clearly, this boat is built with modern style and modern in mind. Is that is a full size, size closet? Right. Nice. 11 foot ceilings. Guys, these ceilings are higher than our apartment. <laughs> yes, they are definitely <laughs> higher than our apartment. And let's go check out the master. Here is the master bedroom. Come back here. Come on. The master suite. So just think about how big a master bedroom is on any boat or yacht and how big this room is. Look at the comparison. This is bigger than my bedroom in our apartment, and my apartment bedroom is the master. Yeah, I have the master. A little fun fact. I have the master, which I'm very excited I have. Another cute little square porthole, but imagine you're in the Bahamas looking out, and you see nothing but islands and crystal clear blue water. The master is big enough for a couch, a TV. Crazy that we're on a boat and we're fitting full size furniture in here. Full size armoire right there. And let's go on. Take us into the master bathroom, Emily. This thing is active. Huge. A full size shower. We have two sinks for the master. One here, one over here. And let's just say hello like we always do. Hey guys. Hello. And what's behind me? I believe this one has two bathrooms. Oh, no, this is a giant walk-in closet. Giant walk-in closet. And the bathroom, the bathroom. just like that. So that is three of the bedrooms on this boat. The other two bedrooms are downstairs, along with the engine room, of course, the bilge, and the rest of the boat. The one thing that we need to show you is the kitchen and 
the view, but let's just pretend that the view is we're in the Bahamas right now, not at the boat show looking in the street. Here we are in the kitchen, and if you look, literally we have full-size refrigerators, full-size sinks. I wonder if there's anything in here. Oh, there's oh, wow, fully stocked fully fridge stocked over here. Fridge. And something we can look at, we have a microwave, microwave stove. stove. I think the key for this cool boat is that everything is full size. And let's look at this glass. So you have full, I mean, almost 360 degree views with the glass. So here is the kitchen, the living area. We have our full sink, our full dishwasher, and full so cabinets. Everything is full size. And that is something that makes this boat extremely unique, especially for a boat. I mean, usually everything isn't really full size. Look at all this glass. It's so beautiful. Imagine you're in the Bahamas. You have this beautiful glass behind eating you, breakfast. eating breakfast, cooking in the kitchen, enjoying your meal, spending time with family and friends. That is going to summarize our tour of... Summarize? Summarize. What's wrong with the word summarize? <laughs> that is going to conclude our tour of this beautiful mansion yacht. You may remember our video on four ways to catch Ballyhoo, and you saw us use a hoop net. So here we are, kind of perfect. At the the Ballyhoo Here we go. Amanda? Yes. I'm excited about this. There we go. So this is the hoop net. This is a much better, nicer, newer version than what we had in the video. Well, I think what we had was just rigged. What we had was just a rig that a charter captain friend came up with. This is the actual patented product, so I'm kind of excited about it. And something else cool that I found that you guys might find neat and useful is the chummy hoop. Now, this is cool because none of your chum is going to stick to this rubber. It's not going to smell and it floats. This is EVA foam, which is the same foam that we're going to be using on our rods, just so you guys know. It's very durable and it floats. We have a big size. So if we're at the reef, doubling chum blocks for snapper, maybe use this. Maybe we're inshore, chumming for some bait, we'll use that. Either way, we're really excited about both of these products because guess what? We're going home with one. I'm excited. We were so excited to run into this booth because you guys know safety is really important to us and we have done these classes and we also have their medical kits, their first aid kits. We are at the D-Day booth. Now these first aid kits are serious, hardcore. They are for major issues, burns, airway, bleeding. They have tourniquets. So this is the, oh my gosh, something terrible happened, but don't worry, I'm prepared medical kit. They do, of course, also have band-aids in their medical kit because last week, a drone, our, our drone that we fly, our camera that we were flying in the air, I was flying it, I was getting ready to take it off and a big gust of wind came and it came flying at my face. So I put my hand out. I got a little cut on my pinky finger, my first finger, no, can you see that, Emily? Oh yeah. It's kind of purple. Anyways, we opened up our D-Day medical kit Emily got me a band-aid a band-aid and some first aid ointments. So I'll show you the kit that we have. We have the 1400, which is right here. And Emily, where did you get this stuff out for me? Here, we, I think you got it from here, right? These are just the little band-aids and the triple antibiotic ointment for my pinky finger. But it also does have some serious bleeding down here. We have a tourniquet in ours. So God forbid a shark attack happens or something crazy, you're gonna be ready and prepared. We've had ours on our boat for two years now and it's been perfect. We haven't had any issues with it and it's the perfect kind of toolbox to have if you're going to Bimini or the Bahamas and you're somewhere where you maybe don't have access to all the medical equipment you do in the United States. We got some goodies. We got some goodies. We have our Bally hoop, which I'm super excited to use. And we'll do a video showing you guys how to use this hoop net. And of course we have the chummy hoop, which is in there as well. And we even got a present. We have some sea deck turned into a ruler for a fish sticker, which I'm pretty oh excited about this. So we got presents today, and that is going to summarize our boat show walkthrough video. But stay tuned because we do have another video coming out from this show where we compare a catamaran versus a monohull. And what we did is we wanted to make sure we compared apples to apples, so we compared invincible boats because they have a cat and a monohull. So we compared both of those boats side by side. That video is coming next. So stay tuned, thanks for watching guys, and make sure you follow Gale Force Twins on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Ready? Um, on the top deck. Something really unique about this boat is that it has four pillars, right? No, pilings. Yeah. Ready? Piling. Ready? Something really unique about this boat is 
and win. Can I like go back here? Yeah. Okay, just where where was the stand in the first place? The music's fine. Okay, just stand back there. It's a great place for parties. Is my hair okay? Yeah. Okay. Something unique about this boat is it had I can't say my words. Don't interrupt me. Here is the hoop net. Open it up. Yes, we're ready. There you go. Twist. <laughs> you can see there's four stories total. Total. Two stories. Two stories. Well, guys, we have been filming all morning and you will have well you will see that coming. Sorry. Welcome to the channel. My name is Emily. We have Amanda the camera. My name is Emily. We have Amanda behind the camera. And welcome to our channel. Is it something good? I don't know. This has been a really long day.